Hi, this is Bill. So in this demo, I'll be showing you about a problem management module in ServiceNow, which is part of ITSM. So you could see a life cycle here from creating a new problem. Um, problem is being assessed. And after assessing, it's going to be um, conducting a root cause analysis. And as, as it moves forward, the fix in progress, right? So you'll see here, it could be reanalyzed and go back to root cause analysis. Uh, depending on stage, right? So um, it could be found a workaround, right? And accepting the risk, right? Because an existing problem, right? And and um, as it marks has been resolved, right? And and um, finally, it will be closed. So let me do that demo um, in service now. So we came from an incident problem earlier. So let us say, let us reopen this um, this ticket and because let's say that um, the initial solution did not work and the existing problem, which is email is still intermittent and not reliable on sending. So so since there are multiple tickets, um, which is floating and being created, right? So uh, you decided to create a problem out of the ticket, right? So upon creating that problem, so ServiceNow basically um, carries over all the information, all the fields from an incident ticket um, to the problem. So you will see here um, the problem manager could basically uh, now um, um, re reassign, right? So let's say uh, problem analyzers and basically assigning it to a problem coordinator for assessment, right? So as he decides to assess the particular incident ticket, right? So now the analyzer will also have a view of the incident here. So we could um, open the ticket, right? And eventually as we open that ticket, right? So we could open it from here. You will see that the incident ticket is now waiting for a problem and the state is on hold, right? So based on um, ITIL best practices, right? So um, now I could, as a problem coordinator right now. Um, I'm super admin, by the way. So I'm representing multiple personas, right? So from there, I managed to see the, in the incident ticket and be able to assess, right? So let us say uh, upon assessing, I've confirmed there's a problem um, upon looking on the configuration items, right? Um, and the CMDB, uh, looking at the relationships, um, I'm, uh, that is basically a problem. So, so um, I basically also um, checked on is there any um, duplicates already happening. So let us pretend there's no change uh, change requests happening at the moment. And um, right now we are on the problem ticket, and we upon assessing we confirm to do a root cause analysis. Right. So on the root cause analysis, you could basically. Um, um, create task if needed be, uh, task to the people uh, to do root cause analysis, right? And confirm the problem, right? And upon confirming, right, you could basically start fix, right? So let's say um, router uh, needs um, configuration, right? So, um, so we, let's say router is new, and and needs um, configuration since it is misconfigured, right? So let's do that. So configure router. So let's just make it simple. So upon um, providing those information, the fix nuts, right? So now the fix in progress and and uh, basically you could create a multiple task in under the problem task. Right, so the engineers could basically apply the necessary fix. So the the problem task itself would do would have its own life cycles. So you'll see here. So upon assessing um, what actions need to be to be able to attend and fulfill that ticket, and let us say um, the ticket is now um, resolved up after doing a root cause analysis and finding the fixes in progress. Right, there's quite a few ways of approaching it, right? So you could um, 
uh, let's say that the uh, it's an existing problem and you're applying a workaround and you are willing to accept the risk, right? And eventually, let's say that um, a, a new solution, uh, I mean, a solution has been found and no need to, this is not an existing problem or it's not a, a known problem, a known error and no um, risk that um, needs to be um, accepted, right? So so now let us move the resolve. And after resolving it, right, so you will see here at the bottom, um, this um, incident ticket will also um, auto-resolve, right? Um, since the problem ticket is also resolved, right? So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and Follow for more.